Finally, after about, well, probably over two years of being teased with the E1 series from WPL, we've got it. Now, before we get onto the review of this, I just want to clear something up. There's some of you out there that are going to accuse me of being a WPL fanboy, and this is going to be a biased review. Well, I've got news for you. I am not a fanboy. I'm way beyond fanboy status. Fanboy! The man was a fanboy. He bought t-shirts of mine. I am part of the WPL All-Star crew. If you don't know what the WPL All-Stars are, you don't need to know. Anyway, enough of that tomfoolery. You want to see this, you want me to get it out of the box and you want me to show you how it runs. So this is a 1 16th scale. I believe it's meant to be the Gaz 71, which, which is a Russian Soviet military tracked vehicle. This one comes ready to run. We're going to get it out of the box. I've not opened it. So quite often I will open stuff I get for review just to check it over first. I've not opened this one. I thought we'd do it together. Loads of little accessories, I guess you have to put them on yourself. There's like wheel caps, there's like a fan, there's some grills, doors, other stuff. Set of instructions. Oh, that's really cute. Can you call a tank cute? I don't know. Which is in here. Oh, who's done that? Who's left the battery connected in this one? Uh... Oh, we're lucky. It is okay. Never leave batteries connected like that. Anyway, battery goes in there. Oh, it feels good. Tracks are rubber. It's got suspension. Don't know, does that come off? I better, oh, oh is it gonna come off? Yeah, that comes off. So you can put stuff in there if you want. It's just a cover that goes on a little, just pushes on. It's nice, the little doors go on there. Some bits go in there, yeah. caps go on the wheels. Uh, so there is a battery charger in there. I'm just gonna charge it on one of mine. So it's got steering rate, turn rate. Let's have a look. Doesn't tell you if it's got two speeds, we'll find out. Does tell you there on where to put all your accessories. Functional, fits nicely in the hand. I've always liked the WPL transmitters. I've not used one for a while because I've not used the WPL for a while, not a stock one anyway. Nice interior, right, I'm gonna get all the trim on and then we're gonna have a closer look at that by the time we've done all that the battery may be nearly charged we'll fire it up and we'll see how yeah, it goes. it is some of the bits of trim are a little bit fiddly but if you follow the channel for a while you'll know i'm quite heavy-handed with some stuff and i didn't break anything so it's not too bad just go easy on some of it the little trims for the uh the wheels i just use the end bit of these tweezers just to just to help push the clips in the same with the uh same with the door hinges just go easy, everything goes together. How cool does that look? Attention to detail, even though they're clipped on, in there is the exhaust, and if you take the covers off, it's got a scale exhaust in there. Fans under there, you can move them as well. Obviously, they don't move on their own, but they are spinning. Looks like a cool little model, doesn't it? Meant to be true to scale, 1 16th scale, and there it is next to a similar scale URL, so I'm not familiar with it um, size-wise, so I mean, I know it's designed as a small, is it like a troop carrier or something like that? I don't know, but anyway, there it is next to a similar sized uh, Ural, that's the B36 from WPL, one I've custom made into a log truck. Quite basic inside there with the electronics, um, powered by two 130 motors. Like I said, it is proportional. So let's get the battery in, let's have a look at it, and then we shall take it out on a bit of a run. So battery goes in there, on and off switches there as well. Switch that on. Sometimes you have to press that. No, both of them. No, maybe turn. There we go, I think that's it, is that it? Nope. Hmm. Ah, there we go. So definitely a question someone's asked, is it proportional? Yes, it is. Nice. That is good con throttle control. Yeah. So the real ones of these float. I don't think this one does. That's full throttle. Let's press that T rate. Is that faster? I don't know. I think it might be a little bit faster. Let's try and press it as we're going. Yeah, it is. So, steering rate. Ah, steering rate as well, look at that. <laughs> that's good, so that's on, so highest steering rate. Nice. Oh, easy. Oh, we got our flap stuck. 
There we go. I wonder how well it climbs. That's quite steep, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit steep for it to get up there. Well, that's not bad. It wants to go, look. Definitely wants to go. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty steep. Right, let's take this thing outside. Perfect terrain for a tracked vehicle. Now, the first thing I want to do is apologise. A huge apology. I've got no driver today. I'm a big advocate of drivers in vehicles. But I'm going to question WPL on their scale of this thing, because although it's 1 16th scale, none of my scale figures would fit, even my smaller than 1 16th scale figures. So no driver, but wow, <laughs> this thing's so cool. So straight off the bat, it seems pretty capable. That is not struggling at all. That's just with a bit of, you know, maybe half throttle. Nice. So I have heard a rumour and I've seen some uh, little pictures of maybe a little metal track upgrade for this coming soon. So definitely one to look out for. But I'd say this thing <laughs> is pretty decent. It is not struggling at all on any of this terrain. So straight out of the box, this does look a little bit, I want to say cheap and plasticky, but it, it is cheap and it is plastic, but you know what I mean. But if you follow WPL, you know full well that people are gonna be pulling this apart, painting it, weathering it, completely making it their own. And I think this is a good base for that kind of project. And I know what I'm gonna be doing with mine, but I'm not telling you that now, you'll have to wait. I've got a really cool plan for this. But you're gonna to have to wait to find out. It's a pretty cool project. Ah, it's not gonna get out there, is it? Surely not. No, I don't think it's going to. Oh, if that grass wasn't stuck. Come on, get out of there. Get out. That is not going to get out there. No way. What? I can't believe <laughs> that just got up there. That's so steep. Well, that sold its performance to me, the fact it got up there. You can't really see from here, but that is... A crawler wouldn't have got up there. There's no way a crawler, a little crawler, would have got up there. Good work, WPL. I am impressed. Let's see if you can come down as good. Ooh. Oh, we're stuck on something. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, come on. Yes. Honestly, guys, I can't believe how well this climbs. That's mad. Whoa, 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 nearly. Wow, this thing is so good. I'm gonna make you